Well, ladies and gentlemen, you might want to clench your butt cheeks tonight because the scholars are completely baffled. I don't know what's going on. And this drama, you would think that it would be over by now, but it still keep on going because today, the internet detectives, they came out and they have found another situation, man. <laughs> You cannot make this up and this drama just keeps on going and so far Mr. Beast has not responded. Yeah, he has responded to that Chris Tyson situation, but so far he has not responded to all of these rumors or allegations or whatever you want to call it that are going around. Like the video if you think he should clear his name and respond. Just like the video if you think now, nah, bro, Mr. Beast is above everybody. He should not respond. That's it. That's where we are, okay? I want to know where you are, where you are. Because this is getting bigger than the aliens conspiracies, the Area 51. We're gonna get right into the story. But however, if you are into aliens and conspiracies like that, I would definitely love to have you on the second channel. This is my second channel. Bruh. Definitely subscribe. All right, let's get to the content now. Boo boo, shout out to geeks and gamers. Roll it. Mr. Beast, the controversy continues. And in terms of all of the accusations going around, I truly don't know what to believe anymore. Mm. There's so much nonsense that it's hard to grasp everything, but we're yeah, going to go yeah. over as much of it as we can since the last video that I made on this channel. Oh man, what else can I say, bro? Like, this is how all the YouTubers are looking like right now. They're like, another day, another Mr. Beast drama. Let me just go ahead and make a video on it, right? <laughs> yeah, it is crazy. The Mr. Beast saga on the YouTube is absolute insane, bro. And one of the most interesting ones is this story right here. Half the things that are said are not true. I wouldn't be with him if they were. Mr. Beast girlfriend defends the YouTuber following recent allegations. Hey guys, only half the things are true. Uh Yo, half? Okay, that's good that half the things said are not true. But what about the other half? What about the other half? Oh, yeah, if you want to know, what about the other half? Right, only half. And uh, here you have the creepy, creepy smile from Mr. Beast with his girlfriend here. Uh, uh, he was looking to make a YouTube thumbnail, bro. Like, that's what it was, bro. I responded, and I'm like, half? <laughs> what the hell does that even mean? It's a horrible answer. It's an absolutely terrible answer. And the internet went crazy over this announcement right here. Now you have Amazon's massive TV deal with YouTube's top star turned sour. There is so much speculation around this Amazon uh, deal with Mr. Beast and rumors are saying that they are completely frustrated. They want out of the deal. He has full creative control according to what a lot of people have said that he has full creative control and Amazon basically turned everything over to him and now it's an absolute disaster. Beast Games contestants describe horrific conditions under Mr. Beast. It's a shit show. It's a disaster. Rosanna, uh, is it Rosanna uh, Pansino, who has been on- Yeah, like she also made videos. Uh, she's also making videos. I believe she came out uh, and she was one of the first few to say that Mr. Beast uh, videos are not real. I was uh, supposed to be second or third. Uh, I, I don't know because she's also another YouTuber, right? She was in one of Mr. Beast videos and she was supposed to be either second place in his video or third place. I, I don't know what place she was uh supposed to be but mr beast kind of demoted her in the video she came out expo tried to expose mr beast and the entire internet went crazy at her because it did feel petty though i have to agree at that time it did it did feel feel petty and of course a lot of people were like hey she's a woman so she's being petty it's probably it is probably the hormones and all that right so yeah i i have to agree the internet went kind of crazy okay uh, and, and now we're f and now she's on the redemption arc and right now she's collecting w's after w's after w's and the internet is on her side right now and, and it's crazy it is crazy Crazy how quick people switch up, right? Like people be switching up like it's Call of Duty lobbies right now. So that, it, it, understandable because of the drama that is uh, coming out right now surrounding Mr. Beast. It, it's wild. It is wild. On several Mr. Beast videos, and she has been well ahead of the curve on all of this. She has been calling a lot of this stuff out. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Let's listen to just a little bit of this because I think it puts it in perspective what we're seeing right now with a lot of these big commentary uh, YouTubers that completely are staying away from this topic. And why? Because they want that collab. Hey guys, so whoa, uh, a lot has happened over the last few days. And yeah, like most critical, right? Ludwig, uh, he faced some criticism but uh, recently but he kind of made a video follow-up and, and he called out mr. B so I guess it's fine but uh, I, I, I don't know I don't I don't know if you guys are familiar uh, with what Lud Ludwig did I did not necessarily watch his video where he got like a lot of backlash on but I watched his follow-up video where he talked about him getting backlash in his initial video if that makes sense Bruh. 
Yeah, so that's the only one I watched. And he in that video, he called out Mr. Beast. He said that he's Mr. Beast's friend, but Mr. Beast got to respond to it. And uh, if he doesn't respond, he's not going to support him. So there's a whole lot of that. Moist Critical, he peaced out. Usually he covers all the dramas, but now he does not. Uh, I believe that's that's to do with the Sneeko situation that happened where he said that, hey, it's perfectly fine for kids to cut their PP and, and all that at, at like 12 years old and all that. So he faced a lot of backlash for that. And later on, he clarified, he said that, no, it's not okay, but it's okay for kids to take like gender fluids and all that. So, you know, when they turn 18, they can easily transition and all that. So he said that Bruh. basically uh, in a follow up video. So there was that. And in that video, he also said he's not necessarily going to like cover it drama or that much which uh, i mean fair if you want to cover it you want to cover it if you don't want to cover it you don't want to cover it but he stopped covering it after he was in a drama so that's quite uh, that's a, a little wild okay <laughs> that's quite ironic and i wanted to update you it is truly so much to cover in a single video but it just definitely needs to be talked about first of all the fact that hardly any large youtubers are talking about the beast yeah, games is honestly nobody. pretty disappointing although not too surprising in general i think basically all the top youtubers are hoping this blows over so they can keep their chance to do business with mr beast or be a part of his juicy juicy collabs as someone who has done three of these beast collabs and had him try to do business with me twice off of youtube let me tell you it's a complete waste of time Time. But hey, Damn. I'm not gonna go into that right now. I would just like to remind them the other big YouTubers in the Yo, sister spitting right now. Sister be spitting though. Damn, Damn. that's crazy. Damn. Damn. Damn community that dozens of people were injured and thousands of people were denied their basic human rights all for a mr beast youtube video uh. giving david dobrik 2.0 and the sequels are always worse there's still no update from tiktok on why my first video about the beast games is blocked in every country except for the u.s also that no way she pulled out david dobrik into this Thousands of comments are being deleted daily on Mr. Beast's newest video. Mr. Beast has been deleting all the comments that speak on the situation about him being a fraud. It doesn't matter if you don't space out your comment, they will all be deleted. Much of Reddit is blocking threads on the topic. This includes his own subreddit that- This is insane, man. This is absolutely crazy. Yeah, th there's a bigger cover-up than Area 51 to the story. God damn, bro. This is this is crazy. Yeah, bigger YouTubers are not talking about it. You would expect, like, most critical to be on it, right? Like, talk about it. Because he always talks about the drama. He always covered the internet news and all that. And this is the biggest news. Bro has 300 plus million subs. That is crazy. This is one of the biggest story in the history of all YouTube, in the history of all mankind, okay? Bruh. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating in the history of all mankind, but but you feel what I'm saying, right? Like, this is one of the biggest story, and he always covers the drama and all that, and he's not covering any of it. And there are other YouTubers that are also not touching it. I guess uh, she put it uh, the best way P YouTubers are not covering it, the bigger ones especially, because they don't want to ruin their chances. To collab with mr beast in the future and, and yeah that's probably one reason there's got to be like other reasons as well maybe uh it's to do with like youtube as well right because like you're probably not gonna be on youtube's uh good page i guess right there's probably gonna be that aspect to it i, I don't know i'm just speculating on that but the first part that is quite quite literally the case i mean and shockingly enough he's probably going to survive it and do you know why because there are so many people that are willing to protect him that's the sad part of this that's random oh yeah mr beast mr beast only had a 98 percent like to dislike ratio everyone there was no negativity surrounding that video none at all it was a 98 99 percent it was higher than the channel average nobody believes that but that yeah. was the lie that was put for uh for context mr beast video actually people were wondering like if he, his video was getting dislike bombed or not and later on he revealed the fact that it's not and people are not buying it so mr b says that his video was 98 percent 99 percent like to dislike ratio which means that if you get 100 likes then only one person or two people would have disliked the video and the reason why people are not buying this is because of the amount of drama that there has been and on top mr beast has been caught removing the comments as well so a lot of people are not buying mr beast uh, or and some people are also saying that maybe what mr beast is saying is true because he dropped a uh, video evidence as well he sent that video to keemstar drama alert and, and drama alert is believing mr beast as well and uh, there's that aspect to it but a lot of people are also saying what if youtube is removing dislikes from his video therefore mr beast is like hey i'm seeing 98 percent like uh, to dislike ratio on my video but it's youtube that is removing the dislikes and uh 
uh, the, the YouTube is trying to save him and protect him, right? So there is that aspect to it. Nobody knows which one is true, but one thing that is for certain, he is getting a lot of backlash right now, so. Forward by the Mr. Beast team. Everybody knew that that was a lie. Everybody. By his staff. Even Twitter deleted yeah, a community yeah, yeah. post about Mr. Beast. So overall, it looks like there is a pretty concerted effort to hide this story, which pretty much explains why I'm making the video today. A lot of you had asked for verification of the other stories I was making videos about, which I totally get. And I want... So, so that's... Uh, and if you want to see that full video from her, you can. But there's just so much more to this, and it just continues. Mr. Beast is being accused of botting comments. No evidence has been posted showing that he's behind the botting, though. If botting is true, the bots could be from one of the many bot farms that plague every YouTuber's comment section and not just yeah. from Mr. Beast. Now, I, I don't want to believe that, though, because, like, like, Mr. Beast is 300 million subs, bro. Like, there is no way he would trying to bot fake positive comments for this one several random positive comments are from accounts created the same day of commenting coincidence no i don't yeah okay this one is kind of suspect though it's suspect um uh, this is uh, internet anarchist says uh, is mr beast botting fake positive comments several random positive comments are from accounts created the same day of commenting coincidence listen i mean even me uh, a literal nobody on youtube um my comment section is full of these random bots uh every single time so i'm not sure if there's a lot to that or not um but it yeah. just adds to the long list of accusations surrounding Mr. Beast. Uh, you oh god, shut up with your pop up. YouTuber <laughs> Mr. Beast accused of hiring an RSO. The top YouTuber announced several company-wide changes in a leaked memo that were uh, particip participated by, precipitated by an ongoing internal investigation. And um, it's a bad time to be Mr. Beast. Uh, and this kind of goes into something that was... I, I mean, maybe, but probably not. Like, he's a millionaire, right? Like, he's making millions of, of dollars. And I guess uh, his videos are getting 98% like to dislike ratio, guys. So I don't... He's probably fine. He, he's probably fine, but... But, but if it's true that Amazon wanna like want out, if, if it's true that Amazon want out from Mr. Beast because Amazon ga gave rights to Mr. Beast to produce his own show and all that, right? If that is true, that is crazy. Then of course he's gonna be having a bad time. But other than that, I, I think he's fine. He's not even responding. He's acting like nothing. Nothing has happened, guys. Nothing has happened. So yeah, right. Unless, unless. But if he responds, what is he gonna say? He's gonna apologize, okay? Scenario number one, okay? Uh, exhibit A! Exhibit A! He comes out and says, guys, I'm sorry, I apologize, I didn't know, or he's gonna say, I knew, but... But sadly... But if he says, I knew, then... You know what I mean, right? Then he's gonna get more backlash, though. Then he's gonna get more backlash. But if he's genuine about it and he apologized genuinely, then yeah people probably gonna be like okay you know what you good man you good people are gonna give him crap in the beginning but then it's gonna be whatever but if he does not respond at all i think he's just waiting for all this to blow over and just be and people forget and people are gonna forget though let, let's not even mistake guys let, yeah let, let's not even sugarcoat it though people are gonna forget if nothing else comes out uh and, and a year later, nothing comes out for a solid year, then people are gonna forget and move on, right? And of course, like, Mr. Beast's target audience is mostly kids, and kids don't care, though, let's be real. Uh, YouTube promotes his videos mostly on normal YouTube and on top on the YouTube Kids app as well, right? So, kids don't care, kids probably don't even know what's going on, and they probably don't understand what's going on. And it's not their age to understand it either, so, you, you know what I mean, right? Like, it, it's that. So either he's gonna come out and say, I knew, and then apologize, or gonna say, I didn't know, and gonna apologize, or not even gonna respond. I think these three scenarios are are are, are very likely. Let me, let me know what you have in your mind. What do you think can happen? Let me know in the chat. Confirmed by Jake the Viking, someone that we know and have had on this channel. And uh, he is his brother-in-law worked for Mr. Beast. And Jake then had to come out with a tweet confirming everything that was in uh or at least confirming most of what was in dog pack's second video yeah. and uh, his response which i thought was a, a decent response and he actually uh, i'm not going to go into specifics of it um let's just say that i told him he needed to make a response because he can't stay silent because he involved himself in the story when you involve yourself in the story and which he did and then yeah. you become part of the story you can't yeah uh, so for context jake the wyken x uh, Mr. Beast employee he quit from Mr. Beast and he went gang gang and he went crazy and he was basically acting like this homie right here Okay, like he was 
he was acting like a he was acting like this man out here and he was like okay i'm just gonna be like on my expose exposing mr beast uh, train and towards the end he also ended up catching flag as well so <laughs> but because the rso guy the the uh, is linked with him he's linked with the guy and jake the wyken also knew but later on i he came forward he came out clean and he apologized for it so there's that aspect to it yeah but but he was also flying way too close to the sun as well and ignore it but then he made the mistake of arguing with the internet once you make your statement, uh -oh. leave it be. Be honest, uh -oh. which is what I told him. Be honest, be truthful, and be transparent. That's all you can do. If this is the truth, then that's what you need to say. So the statement was put out. He decided to argue with every single person on the internet, which is a huge mistake. Why are you arguing with the internet? You involved yourself in this story, and then you became part of the story. The story should be on Jimmy and Chris Tyson. Yeah, Jimbo. It's absolute nonsense. But yes, he did hire an RSO. Mr. Beast did that. He hired... Damn. I'm like, what is wrong with Damn, this guy? Damn, man. That's it, crazy. This is, the insanity is unbelievable. It's off the charts. Then you had this guy right here. Yeah. Who made a video, okay? <laughs> accusing him. Yeah, okay. This, I, I seen that video. I seen that video. And it's crazy because this man literally is the definition of this man right here. He's like, bro, the drama is hot. The, the iron is hot. Let me just take a hammer and let, let me just go crab it at it. Okay. Let me, you don't forget about the hammer. Let me take, let me, let me take a bamboo and shove it right there, man. And just slap. Okay, now shove it. That doesn't sound natural. Bruh. That does that, that doesn't sound right. But let me just drop a star bomb on it. So that's how he acted like. And he dropped a, uh, dropped the video. He approximately, last time I checked, 2.2 million views. I mean, it is crazy, bro. Oh, oh, it is crazy. And he says that. According to him, in his own words, this man claims that Mr. Beast stole his ideas for the videos. So yeah, that's what he, that's what this gentleman is accusing Mr. Beast of. Mr. Beast of stealing from him. Okay, right here. More Beast allegations. A small YouTuber came out claiming Mr. Beast took his ideas and was never paid. He shows alleged receipts of him flying out to work, footage inside Beast HQ, and never shows evidence that they agreed to pay him. All right, this video got like millions of views, okay? At the end of the video, this dude, this cat drops a GoFundMe asking for $1.7 million. He got absolutely annihilated because he should have. And he eventually shut the GoFundMe down after I think he raised like 500 bucks, asking for 1.7 million. Hey man, can a brother get like two pennies or something like that? <laughs> listen, man. I'm listen, man. I'm just asking for my two pennies. Yo, two pennies, gang squad. Oh! Two pennies, gang, rise up! Two pennies, gang, rise up! But but damn, home, homeboy caught like uh, homeboy made like 500 dollars, almost 495. So that's like five Franklin Benjamin. <laughs> Yo, this is a perfect pause. Geeks and gamers be like, so this cat, uh, <laughs> so this cat out here made a GoFundMe pitch, started a GoFundMe pitch. You crazy? You crazy? Billion dollars. I don't even know if the dude worked for Mr. Beast. I have no idea. The he insanity around the story crazy. is truly amazing. I can't get enough of it. I'm obsessed with the story. And it all comes back to Mr. Beast, Jimmy, has sat there and pretended that he's this super great guy, that he's perfect that he's uh -oh. virtue signaled he wants to take shots at president trump yes i am still pissed about that because you want to sit there and make those statements but you wouldn't make those statements about a democratic president would you no because the powers to be wouldn't allow that because you're a fucking coward and now those that priests allowed us have the most to hide and that is coming full circle on this mr b story so i'm having a blast watching this i can't get enough of it this is fantastic mr beast in my opinion is not a youtuber mr beast is mainstream media that's who he is he's a mainstream media celebrity right now he is not a youtuber yeah, the fact that yeah, he won't yeah. respond yeah. shows that he's a mainstream tool because it yeah to be honest though like youtubers are the first uh, responders they are the first one to respond not the first responders my bad uh, they are the first one to respond on uh, you know whenever there's controversy i'm sorry guys i'm sorry i'm sorry whether it be like with a ukulele you know that chick that came out with a ukulele or the violin chick you know what i mean like straight face <laughs> and she started playing violin for her apology i mean that is crazy that is crazy whether that be the Noah J recently Noah J four five six uh, apology video he uh, came out right the entire drama between the Smith plays Mr T Lexify that's like another drama that we covered uh, as well right like so there's that aspect to it but yeah YouTubers are usually are like hey guys uh, hey guys I'm sorry I'm sorry you know what I'm saying but Mr Beast is not looking like looks like that he's not gonna respond man any YouTuber that's in the trenches 
if you get caught doing something or if something gets exposed or if something controversial happens, do you know what you should do? You should address it. You should just address it. Now, if you go over to what is that channel? Ludwig Mogul Mail, um, which again, this is one of these uh, commentary YouTubers that suddenly out of nowhere makes all this drama videos for yeah, years. And then stops. Millions and millions then of stops. views, making millions of dollars, getting millions of subs. And then suddenly, simultaneously, Moist Critical and Mogul Mel mm. at the same time. When they Mr. Stop. Beast gets caught up in a controversy, both of these mega commentary channels suddenly go, there's so much drama and I'm tired of the drama. I just want to play video games and be positive. Oh, wow. Isn't that a coincidence? Right when the Mr. Beast drama happens, someone you're both tied to, right when that happens, you don't want to talk about drama. Yeah, you've already made your millions. You've got your millions of... It, it is wild, but in the case of Moist Critical, though, it, it's uh, to do with the... He had the conspiracy, not the conspiracy, controversy with Sneeko. But I think even if he didn't have the controversy with Sneeko, I don't think he would have made... Maybe like one video, perhaps, he would have made. Or maybe not even one. He made the Chris Tyson situation video, right? But on Mr. Beast, I don't think he's gonna make. And after that Sneeko controversy, nah, he's not making any though. And that is actually wild. I, I think it's two reasons. One, he was in controversy with Sneeko. And secondly, of course, he don't want to ruin his chances to work with Mr. Beast again. Because uh, now, I, I don't think they, they are... Uh, for, for example, right? Like, they are not... They're buddies, right? In real life, I guess. Not buddies buddies, but they know each other. Of course, they know each other and uh, it's like collaboration kind of thing. Now, if let's be, let's be real, if Moist Critical, Penguin Z, AK Charlie, if he started addressing and covering the news, he don't, he don't even have to be mean or, or call out Mr. Beast or anything like that. He simply gotta cover the news like he covers every day. Yeah, he covers drama every day, right? Now, maybe not, but he was covering drama before the Sneeko's uh, controversy, or controversy with Sneeko. And now, yeah, like, I don't think he will, because, you know, he, then Mr. Beast is probably gonna put him in on blacklist. You know, Geeks and Gamers probably on Mr. Beast's blacklist. Bruh. I'm probably him as well. More Pegasus? More Pegasus? That is, he's the literal definition. <laughs> More Pegasus? He has made so many Mr. Beast videos, man. That man, uh, yeah, approximately got like 20 plus million views in the last month or Mr. Beast. Oh, shit. Oh, Drama. Yeah, it is crazy, man. It is, this is a new wave, man. Forget the Bitcoins. Forget the stock market. It's uh, the Mr. Beast drama, man. It's the Mr. Beast coin right now, man. So that is what's going on right now. It is crazy. And you see, like, everybody's covering the drama except for Ludwig. And Ludwig, like we talked about it, he covered it. But I don't think he would cover it more or anymore. Uh, most critical, not even talking about it. And there are several other big, bigger YouTubers that are tied or that have ties with Mr. Beast that are not going to touch it, though. Understandable, they don't want to lose their uh, their collaboration part with Mr. Beast. Makes sense though, makes sense though. It'd be what it'd be, man. Check out this video on the screen. This recently happened, man. Noah J456, the Mr. T Lexify drama, the Nick Merck situation. It is crazy. It's a disaster. Check out this video on the screen. If you already have seen it, then check out the video on the left.